Good evening. My name is Mark Bernard, the proud principal of East Isle High School. On behalf of our Board of Education, Superintendent of Schools, faculty, staff, and the class of 2024, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 97th Annual Commencement Exercise of East Isle High School. I would like to thank the members of our High School Symphony Orchestra under the direction of Ms. Sandra for being here this evening. At this time, I'd like to invite members of our advanced ASL class to join us on the sidelines as they interpret the beginning of our program. Please stand for the salute to the flag led by Lorelei Mucciolo and Hannah Ross, our morning announcers. Remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Hannah Ross and America the Beautiful by Anthony Ashley, Julia Fink, Ryan Kelpie, Brandon Krupa, and Lorelei Mucciolo. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Thank you. Please be seated. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge some members of the East Side Sub School community who have worked tirelessly to make today's ceremony possible. Our Board of Education, Mr. Michael Dorgan, President. Mr. Stephen Ruin, Vice President. Trustees, Ms. Jessica Champy, Mr. Timothy Sassone, and Mr. Christopher Zachary. Our District Administration, Mr. Paul Imanzo, Superintendent of Schools. Mr. Stephen Harrison, Assistant Superintendent for Business. Dr. Lisa Bells, Assistant, uh, Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources Administration. And Dr. Ina Lork, Assistant Superintendent for Instruction and Personnel. Our District Directors, Dr. Sergi Anderson, Humanities. Dr. Jason Stanton, Careers and Student Services. Mrs. Kristen Redd, Special Education Pupil Personnel Services. Mrs. Kristen Ray, Special Education. Dr. John Genova, Mathematics and Science. Mr. Stephen Restivo, Director of Athletics. Mr. Dr. Robert Wadawa, Art and Music. Mr. Richard Zykowitz, Student Achievement and Instructional Technology. Mr. Christian Seifert, World Languages. And Dr. Jean-Marie Diaversa, English as New Language. Our high school assistant principals, Mr. Michael Forley, Mrs. Corinne Scarls, and Dr. Jean-Marie Diaversa. Our Cleary administration, Dr. Jacqueline Sims, Mrs. Elise Becker Santa, Mrs. Kathleen Kersner, Mrs. Allison Hurley. Our plant and facilities, facilities manager, Anthony Gagliano. And last but not least, our secretarial staff who has worked diligently to make tonight a very special evening. Mrs. Danielle Graffinino, Mrs. Dawn Zamitti, Mrs. Diana Natra, Mrs. Barbara Zeman, Mrs. Susan Weissman, Ms. Maria Gick, Mrs. Paula Kaler, Mrs. Carol Harrison, and our head custodian, Mr. Felix Gonzalez. I'd like to also thank our entire Buildings and Grounds crew and our high school custodial staff. Also, a uh, very warm uh, thank you to Exchange Ambulance for being here this evening under the leadership of Chief Scott Crosby. Class of 2024, the last class I left in East Lysa Middle School before coming to the high school, when these young adults sitting before us were in sixth grade. We spent one year together in the middle school back when our valedictorian was known as Kayla's little sister and our salutatorian, Wendell's little brother. In the past six years, all of you have made their mark, your mark on the world. You have grown into young adults, and I am certain that the best is yet to come. We often look upon this milestone of high school graduation as a time to reflect on the past, an accounting of what we've accomplished. It's also called commencement for a reason, a beginning. Your story continues, your work continues, and we all know you are not done. I look forward to hearing about all the great things you will accomplish. You will face challenges, setbacks, and obstacles. You will have great successes, and epic disappointments. But as you have consistently proven, you will succeed through perseverance, hard work, and dedication. These are qualities that I believe you all possess and have learned over the past several years. I challenge you to become the best version of yourself that you can be. Take risks, continue to work hard, and never hide your EI pride. Make each day count and remember the words Mahatma Gandhi, the future depends on what you do today. Best of luck to the class of 2024. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the salutatorian, Kevin Huang. Can I turn this off? Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the class of 2024, it is my honor to welcome all faculty, alumni, friends, and family to this special occasion. I'd like to begin by giving a big thank you to select teachers, coaches, administrators, and friends who have supported me, and to my greatest mentor, Pablo, who has granted me much wisdom and guidance and played a pivotal role in my admittance to my dream college and beyond, and to my brothers, Vincent and Wendell, for being my constant competition, pushing me to be my best self. 
and to my parents, who took the risk and sacrificed everything to move from China to the US, created a home that allowed me to thrive and are my biggest inspirations. I wouldn't be the same person today without these people in my life, so I ask that we give them the applause they deserve. <clears throat> and now to the class of 2024. Congratulations, we have graduated. After four years of solving inequalities, discussing themes of the Great Gatsby, and reciting that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of itself, we'll finally be giving our diplomas something that only a mere 90% of Americans have. Yep, that's right, well now we will have a crushing advantage over 10% of our competition. Jokes aside, this fact actually points to a message I'd like to share with you all today. You see, high school is never really about getting the diploma. Sure, this piece of paper served as motivation for many, as it was a clear goal, but the true purpose of high school was just that, high school itself. It was the experiences that we had on this four-year journey that carries true value. We learned the power of resilience. Class of 2024, we've been through it all. Balancing part-time jobs and schoolwork, adapting to a global pandemic, heck, we even managed to survive a trembling earthquake. Do not scoff at these feats. The resilience that you have accumulated over these years is what brings you all here to the ceremony today. We learned of the importance of community. We cheered for our teammates at playoff games, took up roles in the school musical, and played with passion at school concerts. No matter what it was, the bond of our class was strong and it transcended the bounds of the classroom. Celebrating each other's victories led us to realize that achievements are made special with the support of those around us. Lastly, and most important of all, we learned to follow our heart. I want everyone to take a look around them right now. Each and every one of you are uniquely talented and have individual passions. During these past four years, we were given the opportunity to ex explore these quirks and explore what we did. We joined new sports and clubs. Some of us discovered our passion for things like running track, mock trial debates, or even my personal favorite, competing in riveting math league competitions. We enrolled in unfamiliar electives and sought job shadowing opportunities at the career fair. These actions allowed us to find the things that made us truly happy, and we took our chances to try new things, and we were certainly rewarded for it. So, fellow classmates, as we stand on the brink of a new adventure, never forget that the true value of a journey lies within the journey itself. So embrace it, go chase your dreams, but always take a moment to reflect on what got you here. Remember to always show appreciation to the people around you and always follow your heart. And as I say that, I will follow my heart right now and take a selfie from my Instagram story, so please strike a pose. <laughs> Thank you and once again congrats to the class of 2024. Go celebrate this momentous achievement and take on the future by storm. Thank you, Kevin. Graduates, 50 years ago, the men and women sitting around you attended the 47th annual commencement ser services for East Lysop High School. Their hearts were filled with hopes and dreams just like you. In 1974, the United States was in the throes of the Watergate scandal involving President Richard Nixon. They watched Hank Aaron tie and beat Babe Ruth's home run record and ration gasoline amidst the oil crisis. They were full of hope and anticipation just like you. It is my pleasure to recognize them as they have returned to accept their 50-year certificate. Symbolically, they are looking into the class of 2024. I am certain that they can see themselves in your excitement and enthusiasm for all the future holds. Similarly, as you look out at them, see the promise of a great life with many accomplishments and experiences. We look forward to seeing you in 2074 when you will be on this field accepting your 50-year certificate. At this time, I'd like to invite our, our senior, 2024 senior class co-presidents, Mary Ramsey and Skylar Riley, to join assistant principals, Dr. Diaversa, Mr. Thorley, and Mrs. Scarls, to present our 50-year certificates. And right at the 50-yard line, alumni, as you hear your name, please come up and accept this honor and take the opportunity to join your families on the track to watch the remainder of the ceremony. I would also like to invite Justin Mazuko to assist in the presentation of the certificates.
Go down to 50. Tony Maschek. Lisa Laviglio. Anne Marie Colo. Barbara McGinnis. I'd like to call upon Justin to present the next two certificates. Justin Mazuko presenting the 50-year graduate certificates to his grandparents, Patricia Gamba Najik and Leonard Najik. Donna Agnello Cowan. Patricia Anderson Murphy. Mary Elwood Seving. Mary Benedetto Troyce. Beverly Bernardus Walter. Richard Bocklet. Grace Ann Calandrino. Susan Chirouk Albee. Brian Cohen. Diane Doyle. Alexander Favuzzi. Hillary Holborn. Rosemary John. Kathleen McGee Menzel. Denise Mellow Fair. Barbara Moritz Rodriguez. John Murtha. Diane Picarello Pollock. Bradley Rogers. Helen Siesto. Congratulations to all of our 50 year graduates. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you valedictorian Catherine O'Hara. Hello? Okay. Good evening to the graduating class of 2024, their family, and everyone else. First, I would like to express my gratitude to the people who have supported me and made Mission Impossible possible, aka competing against Kevin. <laughs> to my mom, thank you for driving me all over the island for my activities and for always giving me a loving push to be the best version of myself. To my dad, thank you for watching my stupid soap operas and for making me milkshakes when I'm sad, tired, or just want one. To my sisters, Kirsten and Kayla, 
Thank you for always being one call away, even though I am the worst at answering my phone. To my friends, thank you for making me laugh and making high school enjoyable despite it starting at 7 a.m. And to the music department, particularly the orchestra, thank you for having the most loving and supportive vibes in the school. And lastly, thank you to the staff, teachers, and administrators who guided us on the path to success. Now, I would like to pre preface my actual speech by saying I have never made a mistake in my whole life. So, if I sound shaky or giddy during this speech, it's the wind's fault. And if there's like weird pauses or like misplaced words or a lot of the word like, it's the mic's fault. But being serious, success has only come to me when I have learned from my failures. While the majority of people, or Google, would say the words moist or phlegm are the ugliest words in the dictionary, I've always felt that word to be failure. To me, this word seemed to definitively tell someone you stink. Compared to making a mistake, feeling s failing feels so much more dire. When Stephen King failed to get his first novel published after sending it to numerous companies, he thought he'd profit off more recycling the manuscript's paper than actually selling his story. When Oprah Winfrey failed to keep her first job and was told she was unfit for TV, she felt her career in entertainment was in the trash. And when I failed to get into my dream school, I thought my life was over. But we were all wrong. Failing is a lesson in life that allows us not only to survive, but to thrive. So what if a bunch of people told Stephen King his writing stinks? All it took was for one company to publish King's work for him to become the most recognizable author in horror. While well, the producer that fired Oprah was, and still is, irrelevant, Oprah has gone on to become not only the face of TV talk shows, but also become one of the most successful women in the world. Who cares that I didn't get into my top school? I ended up switching majors and falling in love with a school that accepted me. Although my story is just a little different than Oprah and Stephen King's, one commonality among us all is that failing was not the end of the story, but an obstacle that was overcome for success. I want the class of 2024 to reflect on times you have regretted not doing something. Our youth is supposed to be the best times of our lives, but sometimes we stop ourselves from creating those moments because we fear failure. What we need to realize is that it's better to fail than to do nothing, as success is only possible when a true attempt is made. So instead of fearing failure, embrace it. Try out for the sport you always wanted to play. Tell the whole school you got deferred from your dream college. Take the class you've always been interested in, because the only way to ever know if you would succeed is to try. And life is too short to be asking what if. As the future becomes our present and my speech comes to an end, I'd like to leave you guys with a piece of advice. In the wise words of Oprah Winfrey, think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2024. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. At this time, I'd like to invite co-presidents Mayor Ranzi and Skylar Riley to present the class of 2024 Top 25. Students, as you hear your name called, please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. Audience, please hold your applause until all the names have been announced. Catherine O'Hara, Tufts University. Kevin Huang, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Logan Beaumont, Stony Brook University. Kaylin Block, Monmouth University. Mairead Cardillo, University of Delaware. Julia Fink, Smith College. Jack Milligan, Lemoyne College. Lorelai Mucciolo, Buffalo State. Patrick Vasquez, Denison University. 
Jack Wadica, SUNY Geneseo. Lucas Antones, Penn State. Alexandra Benavides, Hofstra. Victoria Crowell, Virginia Tech. Alyssa Deutsch, New Paltz. Lance Joshua Enriquez, Binghamton University. Michaela Horton, Franklin Pierce. Emma Johnson, SUNY Geneseo. Christopher Kazarian, Binghamton University. Ryan Kelpie, University of South Carolina. Connor King, UMass Amherst. Jesse Najira, Georgetown University. Jada Poindexter, Clemson University. Hannah Ross, Your Sinus College. Travis Stockton, University of South Florida. And Casey with University of Tampa. Congratulations to our top 25. The New York State Seal by Literacy recognizes high school graduates who, were, who have attained a level of proficiency in listening, speaking, reading, and writing in one or more languages, in addition to English. The New York State Seal by Literacy is awarded by the Commissioner to students who meet established criteria by the Board of Regents. The Seal by Literacy will be affixed to the high school diploma and transcript of graduating pupils att attaining the seal. I am pleased to recognize the following students who have earned this recognition. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all names have been called. Haley Bloor, ASL. Mairead Cardillo, ASL in Spanish. Taylor Dowlin, ASL. Emily Jackson, ASL. Caitlin Larkin, ASL. Ryan Kelpie, Italian. Justin Diaz, Spanish. Emma Johnson, Spanish. Jaden Kilmer, Spanish. Alina Locke, Spanish. Jesse Najero, Spanish. Jocelyn Old, Spanish. Shannon O'Rourke, Spanish. And Nicholas Williams, Spanish. Congratulations on all of your hard work. The New York State Seal of Civic Readiness is a formal recognition that a student has attained a high level of proficiency in terms of civic knowledge, civic skills, civic mindset, and civic experiences. The Seal of Civic Readiness is, is a distinction on a high school transcript and diploma that shows the student's understanding for commitment to participatory government, civic responsibility, and civic values. It demonstrates to universities, colleges, and future employers that the student has completed an action project in civics or social justice and recognizes the value of the civic engagement and scholarship. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all the names are called. Lucas Atunis. Alexandra Benavides. Haley Bloor. Logan Beaumont, Mairead Cardillo, Courtney Cassani, Anna Carino, Luca Centuro, Victoria Crow, Alana Curran Frost, Emma Danowski, Justin Diaz, Alyssa Deutsch, Julia Fink, Ayana Fajola, Olivia Graffinino, Michaela Horton, Emma Johnson, Carter Jones, Fallon Jagurkis, Ryan Kelpie, Jaden Kilmer, Connor King, Elena Locke, Caitlin McCall, Connor Murphy, K. 
Haley Terranos, Isabella Perone, Jada Poindexter, Mary Ramsey, Skylar Riley, Jisnu Chaudhry, Jake Sambo, Ian Schneider, Christopher Seelig, Avery Simmons, Lorelai Stegman, Margaret Stember, Leanna Tormino, Brooke Tersey, Casey Wyth, and Jack Wadica. Congratulations. Please be seated. This time I would like to thank the many brave men and women who have served uh, or are currently serving this great nation as a member of our armed forces. We have three graduates who will be engaging in military service after graduating. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all the names have been called. Christian Yella, Marine Reserves. Ryan Penafiel, Marines. And Valerie no Nolasco, Air Force. Thank you. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Paul E. Manzo. Good evening, distinguished guests, EI families, friends, and the remarkable class of 2024. I am honored and privileged to stand before you today as we recognize outstanding achievements of this incredible group of young adults. Today marks not only an end, but a new beginning, a shift from one chapter of your life to another. As you prepare to move on to college, the armed forces, or the workforce, know that your journey of growth is just beginning. Over the past few years, you have grown in wisdom, character, and resilience. You have faced challenges and celebrated successfuls, a lot of success on the field, the stage, and the classroom. And in doing so, you have crafted a story unique to each of you. As you stand on the edge of a new chapter, remember that while the pages may turn, your individual stories continue to unfold. For those of you heading to college, I encourage you to explore this next endeavor with curiosity and excitement. College is a time for exploring both academic and personal interests. Embrace new ideas from new friendships and discover your passions. Remember, education is beyond the classroom and every experience is an opportunity for growth. To those who have chosen to serve our country in the armed forces, I commend you for your courage and dedication. The journey will be a part of service, honor, and commitment. The values you have learned here at East Islip will guide you through the challenges you will face and your strength will inspire others. We are proud of you and grateful for your service. And for those entering the workforce, you are about to contribute your talents and abilities to a world that requires innovative thinkers and dedicated professionals. The shift from student to professional can be challenging, but trust in the foundation that you have built here. Approach your new roles with confidence, integrity, and the determination to make a difference. Regardless of the path you choose, remember that growth is a constant journey. Success is not just about personal achievement. It is also about being kind and compassionate, respectful and responsible. Every step you take, every challenge you overcome, and every success you achieve will be value added to your story. Your experiences here in East Islip have been exceptional, and the values you hold will serve as a solid foundation for the future. As you leave these halls and venture into the world, carry with you the lessons you have learned, the friendships you have made, and the memories you have created. And know that wherever life may take you, you will always have a home here, amongst friends, family, and those who believe in you. Congratulations, class of 2024. We are incredibly proud of you and excited to see the amazing things you will achieve. The best is yet to come. Thank you, Mr. Manzo. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the Board of Education President, Mr. Michael Dorgan.
Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Bernard. As president of the Board of Education, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to my fellow board members, our superintendent, Mr. Manzo, members of our central administration, Dr. O'Rourke, Dr. Bells, and Mr. Harrison, our high school administrators, Mr. Bernard, along with our assistant principals, our faculty, and most importantly, to our graduating students, your family, and friends. It is an honor to be here with you today to celebrate this achievement. When you think about your time here in East ISO, I want you to take a moment and reflect upon what you've accomplished and the experiences you've had in your academic career. Your entry into the East ISO High School was during the height of the pandemic. At first, you didn't get to have the traditional educational environment, along with those typical school experiences. Instead, you had to navigate a modified school with hybrid and virtual learning. Though these challenges that were presented seemed overwhelming at the time, you persevered and overcame these obstacles. Eventually, you were able to come together, have a traditional educational environment, and those typical school experiences. Given what you've endured, there isn't a doubt in my mind that you've all developed respect for one another and lasting friendships all because of that shared experience. For me, being here today and speaking to you is truly a special moment because almost 30 years ago now, I sat where you are on this very field and I thought to myself, what will I do? And where will the journey of life take me? Well, I pursued my interests, which led to a career that has taken me to levels I couldn't even conceive of happening all those years ago. And when I reflect back, it's because of my experiences here in East Islip that made me the individual I am, and I can't be thankful enough. So now, I stand here before you all as a graduate of the East Islip High School with this message. Value what you learned and the experiences you had, and you too may be brought to levels in your life you couldn't even think of. But I would be remiss if I didn't say to you all that your efforts, dedication, and hard work have paid off bringing you to this occasion here today. You've earned this moment. Enjoy this moment. And always remember it fondly. So I'm on with this. Whichever path you take from this point in your life, remember that East Islip will always be your home. On behalf of the Board of Education, I congratulate these graduates and their families and wish you all the best of luck wherever your journey in life takes you. Thank you, and EI Pride. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. Superintendent Manzo, Board of Education President Mr. Dorgan, and members of the East Side Board of Education, I hereby certify to you that the students sitting before you have met or exceeded the requirements set forth by New York State to graduate from East Islip High School. O'Hara, Kevin Wong, Mary Ramsey, Skylar Riley, Jesse Najera, Jada Poindexter, Kylie Nolan. Shazabe Khan, Jaden Kilmer, Victoria Crowell, Brooke Tercy, Quaderis Boswell, Madeline Director, Karen Garcia Blanco, 
Brianna Lee. Julia Modico. Brian Ramirez. Samantha Scordalellis. Alan Trinidad. Ryan Campanero. Nicholas Leone. Laura Lee Mucciolo. Hannah Ross. Noah Albert. Liam Allen, Melvin Alvarado, Michael Amato, Liva Amer, Ryan Anatra. Lucas Kosu Antunes, George Arena, Jacqueline Arevalo Carrillo, Dylan Aristides, Anthony Ashley, Anthony Avitable, Anthony Azizo. Matthew Baldino, Ashley Bartik, Kevin Bartolotta, Amisha Bashar, Delilah Bauer, Logan Beaumont, Gianna Belsito, Alexandra Benavides. Diana Benchowitz, Max Berlin, Gia Bianco Viso, Joseph Burkle. Kaylin Block, Camden Bloom, Haley Bloor, Brandon Bogorowski, Allison Bradley, Emma Brassois, Jada Brown. Ryan Brummerlow, Anna Campos, Stefano Carconi, Maraid Cardillo, Sean Carey, Anna Carino, Courtney Cassani, Luca Santoro, Dylan Cesarski, Louis Sicali, Christy Claudio, Matthew Collins, Rosemary Connolly, Anna.
Andrew Cooper. Grace Coco. Alana Curran Frost. Robert Zakor, Anthony Diacunto, Stephen D'Amico, Christopher D'Angelo, Marissa Damien, Emma Danowski. Kimber Davidson, Christian DiCostofalo, Alyssa Deutsch, Justin Diaz, Romy Alexander Diaz Garcia, Brody Dixon. Steven DiTomaso, Leah Dolson, Taylor Donlin, Brianna Dort, Isabella Eason, Lance Joshua Enriquez. David Espinal, Kayla Farino, Samantha Felix Fierick, Matt Ferraro, Julia Fink, Sydney Frey. Ayana Frigiolo, Braden Gartland, Dylan Galrup, Alyssa Giacconi, Liam Godbout, Olivia Graffanino, Ethan Green, Nicholas Groneman. Darwin Corvera, Emily Goot, Ryan Gutlein, Yusef Hedari, Charlie Heffernan, Angelo Hernandez, Christopher Higgison, Sydney Holmes. Michaela Horton, Adriana Iacono, Rihanna Irizari McAdam, Thomas Ivers, Emily Jackson, Joseph Jackets, Alessandro Jarvis, Sophie Jensen, Ryan Jimenez Romero, Emma Johnson, 
Alex Johnston. Carter Jones. Evelyn Joseph. Fallon Younger Kiss. Connor Jr. Charles Kalinowski. Spencer Cavanaugh. Chris Kazarian. Killian Keen. Peyton Caney. Brendan Carney. Jared Kelly. Ryan Kelpy. Aiden Kelty. Kate Kern. Timor Khan. Jenna Kilborn. Connor King. Brady Niesel. Patrick Koch. Nathaniel Cole. James Kovaleski. Crusher. Kelsey Crusher. Summer Christensen. Brendan Kropa. Max Kukala. Matthew Krasinski. Raymond Laboy. Luke Lafada. Caitlin Larkin. Nicholas Laskowski. Richard Laspina. Abigail Lennon. Keith Leonard. Michael Lewandowski. Shirley Lynn. Helena Locke. Miranda Leffler. Sophia Lamonaco. Jason Lopez. Brooke Lubin. Dylan McIntosh. James Mack. Keisha Maitri. Anthony Marozito. Vincent Margarita. Amy Miley Marin. Justin Martinez. Samuel Martinez. Pedro Esteven Mata Gomez. Lucas Moro. Justin Mizuko. Caitlin McCall. Cassidy McConnell. Jack McGarry. Corey McGovern. Matthew McEntee. Kayla McKenna. 
Chloe McManus. Christian Myers. Grace Mezajewski. Ralph Mezajewski. Matthew Miller. Nicolette Miller. William Miller. Jack Milligan. Brendan Muno. Connor Murphy. Fatima Naeem. <laughs> Kaylee Naws. Dylan Nelson. <laughs> Julia Nevis. Steven Nagaro. <laughs> Valerie Nolasco. <laughs> Kristen Nolet. Catherine O'Rourke, Shannon O'Rourke, Sean O'Shea, Jake Osenesek, Jocelyn Olds, Megan Olson, Michael Orgera, William Oak, Adriana Ozimo, Ryan Penafiel, Andrew Perez, Isabella Perone. Sophia Perry, Luciana Posiolo, James Powers, Gabrielle Procaccini, Isabella Procaccini. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Joseph Quincy. Michael Rugusio. James Rapazzi. Marlena Rebolts. Sebastian Regis. John Riley. Thomas Rice. Gabriella Rivera. Gabri Roche. Eva Rodriguez Reyes. Elliot Roman. Lindsay Roses. Jishnu Ray Chowdhury. Ethan Safrani. Jake Sambo. Jabron Sampson. Aiden Sanders. Madison Santon. Catherine Sasso. Jacqueline Scandali. Anthony Shea, 
Ian Schneider. Yeah, buddy. Christopher Seelig. He's done. Adam Siebert. Christopher Sakella, <laughs> Alyssa Sheehan, <laughs> Elena Shewu, Jason Shields, Avery Simmons, Brody Skinner, Lauren Smith, Ryan Smith. Thomas Snoble, Terry Sonnenberg, Josh Sordo, Anthony Spayeth, Jake Stasi, Lily Stegman, Lorelei Stegman, Emma Stein. Margaret Stember, Travis Stockton, Jack Sturek, Liana Taramina, Luke Teasy, Tyler Thomason, Alexandra Totillo, Aaron Trulio, Wilson Urbina, Alina Yuzi. Patrick Vasquez, Gavin Veltman, Christian Ventizello, Jake Vesalico, Leah Vitrano, John Vogel, Nicholas Weber, Wyatt Weichboat. Sean Wichert, Kaylee Wilco, Nicholas Williams, Casey Wyth, Jack Wadaka, Christian Yella, Batuhan Yodiz, Grace Zani, Freddy Zavala, Catherine Zavala, and Ethan Zeladon. My pleasure to call upon Class of 2024 Co-Presidents Mary Ramsey and Scott O'Reilly to deliver the farewell address. Mary and Scott. Hi everyone, my name is Mary Ramsey and I am Co-President of the Student Council with Skylar Riley. 
I wanted to start off by congratulating all my fellow classmates and thanking all of the teachers, staff, families, and friends that have come out to support us and contributed to us getting to this milestone. The main person that pushed me to get here is my mom, who's my person and my best friend. To the world, my mom is just one person, but to me, she is my entire world and has inspired me every day and pushed me to obtain goals I never thought were possible. Thank you, mom, for being the person who I aspire to become one day. To the class of 2024, I can't believe this day has arrived after being so excited to graduate. I'm so sad it has come because I'm leaving the school that created bonds so special and memories worth a lifetime. When I first came to the high school, the same sentence was always repeated. These four years will go in a blink of an eye, and I never really believed that until now. This year, we have all experienced our many lasts together, but that only means we have so many firsts coming ahead. East Islip has created a second home for me and helped me meet my friends that I will forever consider family and teachers that became mentors to me. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Throughout school, I have become nearly a reflection of people that have inspired me. The impact this school had on my life, as well as my fellow classmates, is irreplaceable. And although this is only a chapter in our lives, and our lives are just beginning, these years are impermeable, and I cannot thank the school enough for making me the person I am today. If I had one piece of advice to give to my classmates, it would be to live in the now. I spend so much time being excited for what's next that I would forget to live in the now. While I can't wait to see what everyone has in store for their future, I'm excited to spend these last few days with one another. Congratulations, everyone, on this amazing accomplishment. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being here to celebrate the class of 2024. My name is Skylar Riley, and I have been co-president with Mary Ramsey since freshman year. I am very honored to be up here and talk to all of you today. Class of 24, we never thought this day would actually come. As Roy Gilmore once said, we prayed for its quick delivery, crossed days of our calendars, counted hours, minutes, seconds, and now that it's here, I'm sorry it is, because it means leaving friends who inspire me and teachers who have been our mentors. We all have that one person that inspires us, and without them, we wouldn't be here today. Mom, you are my twin flame. Thank you for filling our house with love and fun, especially on the harder days when it was needed. You are my light, and without you, I wouldn't be able to, be, to see as clear, be confident, or follow my dreams. Your support is endless, and I'm a better person with you in my life. Now, class of 2024, I'm gonna leave you with one more high school lesson. As we look out past the stadium, we see a street called Craigby Garraby Road. Most of you may not know who he was or what he meant, but luckily for you, I do. Craig was my grandfather's best friend in high school. He graduated in the class of 1969 and was a stand-up student, friend, and classmate. He was class president and captain of the football and wrestling team. Beyond high school, Craig went to serve our country. He was ranked as a sergeant and was a Green Beret as well as rewarded the Bronze Star and Purple Heart. Tragically, Craig passed away in a small arms fire in the Vietnam War. He died a hero, a father, a husband, and a good friend. To this day, if you go to his gravestone, you might just find a PBR either left by my grandfather or one of Craig's many friends who knew his love for it. I want everyone here to promise to find wonder in all new things and what you learn and encounter, but also never forget where you came from, the streets and the town that built us. Make a mark and leave a legacy. We grow up feeling EI proud, but it's now our turn to create it. Go out there and whatever you do, make EI proud. Thank you. Congratulations to the class of 2024. In a moment, I'll ask the graduates to stand. Chaperones, please move to the other side of the, um, of the field. And our administration and our um, board will uh, lead the classes out to the uh, middle school. As my last official act as principal of East Islip High School for the class of 2024, I ask the graduates to stand for the final tradition of this ceremony. Please take your tassel that is on the right side of your mortarboard, your cap, move it to the left side. I now present, to you, I present to you the newest alumni of East Islip High School, the class of 2024.
Ready to go? Ready. Here we go.